Hello everyone, today I'm excited to show you how to make these awesome custom bullet points to style your lists. You can have all the same bullet points, alternating, a different one for each item, or my personal favourite, you can even use your own photos. How awesome is that? Let's get into it. So I'm kicking off here in my HTML with five unordered lists. And the first thing to do is give them all a class corresponding to the type of bullet points they will have. On the UL, we do class and then equals. And I've got lions and tigers. And then alternating kitties, uh, sorted kitties. And finally, these are made of photos of my cat, Pumpkin. So we will call this one Pumpkin. Lovely. So now that's done, we can put in those awesome custom bullets. So over to the CSS we go, and then we do lines, list item, and then marker, pseudo element, open that, content, and then just put in the emoji we want. Lions have appeared, great news. So now we will do the same for the tigers. Switch out that for the tiger face, but you'll see in my finished one, the tigers are a little further away from the text than the lions. And the way to do that is tigers, list item, padding left. And I don't want too much, so I'll do 0 0.125 amps. And you'll now see if I toggle that on and off, it is moving it slightly further away, which I think looks quite nice. So I'm also going to do that for alternating kitties and assorted kitties. Copy this twice and then alternating kitties and assorted kitties. You won't see much difference just yet, but when I put those emojis in, it will all become clear. So let's do that now. So for the alternating ones, we just need alternating kitties, list item, nth child, start with the odd ones, although it really doesn't matter which one you start with, odd or even, and then we want the old marker pseudo element and we can just copy the lion emoji from here. There they are. And then to put the tiger into the even ones, you can probably guess, we just switch this out and then put in our tiger. Alternating kitties have entered the room. But what about the assorted ones? Very similar kind of thing. So we can just copy this one more time. Uh, sorted kitties. And then instead of odd, we can put in a specific number. So I can just do one, two, three, so on and so forth. The downside of this, I suppose, is that if you later add more, you're going to have to come into your CSS and add in an emoji for that. But for now, we can just stick to this. And I had tiger, leopard, cat. Let's do it. Tiger, there it is. And then I can just copy this twice, two, put in a leopard, and finally, three with a cat. And I have noticed how these emojis are the opposite size order to what they would be in reality, which I'm not sure what to make of, but never mind. let's not dwell on it. Let's focus now on adding the photos. So I have here a picture of my cat pumpkin looking regal, like some kind of general in the 1900s, I think. But anyway, I want him to be a bullet point. So the way to do that is open up the file and this is going to be huge at the moment so tools adjust size let's go for 24 save that and then drag him into our files and now we just do pumpkin list style image url and then pumpkin.jpg there he is but you'll see that this still has the background which might be okay for what you want, but I would prefer to remove it. And to do that, we hop over to Canva. This is a free site where you can make designs of all sorts, very handy to use. And I will drag in my picture of pumpkin. This is one I have not resized yet. So it's the full size currently. And then we do effects, background remover, and just wait for it to do all the work for you. And there we have backgroundless pumpkin. So I'm going to call this pumpkin and then download. Make sure you choose 
transparent background and hit download on that. And once again, I will resize him to 24, save that, and then put him into my project. And now if I switch out this JPEG for PNG, background is pumpkin, is a bullet point. Amazing stuff. Now I have already done this with two more pictures of pumpkin and I will put them in the project right now. And then we just use the same idea as we used for assorted kitties. So we need a couple of these. And then for the second one, we do list item, nth child two, and we want pumpkin two. Woohoo, a new pumpkin has entered the building. And actually even easier, we can do this, change that to three, and this is pumpkin three. Look at that. I just think that is the coolest thing maybe ever. So that is how you make an assortment of different custom bullet points for your lists. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please consider subscribing. It would really make my day. And you can also come and say hi on Twitter. I post code stuff, cat pics and random polls. Currently asking what's more awesome, sheep or sleep? Well, that's all for now. Happy bullet pointing and I'll see you next time.